oh my god this game looks incredible could this be the next evolution in Roman historical strategy titles? We've had Total War and they've had some tricky successes over the last few years, especially as people are now more wanting the historical side and straying away from the Warhammer fantasy that we've had. Roman Empire Wars is looking to take that challenge to another level. But something about this looks a little weird. Why are the camera movements so strange? Why are the animations so formulaic. Am I imagining this? What's going on here? As we can see, I am not the first person to make a video about this and I'm definitely not going to be the last, but I've been keeping an eye on Roman Empire Wars for a long, long time. This game has been somewhat in the public eye for a couple of reasons. First of all, don't get me wrong, Roman Empire Wars looks fantastic on the surface. It looks like everything that we would want from a Roman strategy game. Not only does it recreate those large battles, but it looks gorgeous as well. The animations, the units, there are some dodgy things in terms of the actual look of the guys. I mean, they look beautiful, but there is definitely no regard for historical accuracy here, which is fine. Not every game has to be incredibly historically accurate, but it's often a look into how much research a developer has done. But look at these cinematics, the sunset in the background, Roman legionaries moving through the cities, but it all just looks a little bit staged, a little bit false. Now, Roman Empire's Wars itself already has a Steam page showing off some of these screenshots, which of course grab the attention of many people, including me. Currently, it says the developer is Emperor Games, with the publisher being also Emperor Games. This is their only title. They've not made anything else, but this definitely does not look like a small budget thing. However, I seem to remember, and take this as a pinch of salt, because you're going to have to take my word for this, I seem to remember the publisher being Playway Games, which makes a bit more sense. And then we actually go to the trailer, which was published by Playway themselves. If anyone doesn't know who Playway Games are, they basically publish tons and tons of games <laughs> all the time. Anywhere from simulators, some that are actually pretty good like House Flipper, to some of the most weird and niche stuff like War Hospital, Creature Lab, Tank Mechanic Simulator VR, American Thief 80s. It goes on and on. It seems like Playway will pretty much publish anything. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just sort of their business model. They're more quantity than quality. In fact, I have made a video where I said a similar thing back in the day called the problem with Playway games. In that video, I said the same thing. They're more quantity than quality, which I believe in my opinion is accurate since they publish games all the time. I mean, look at these titles. Look, look how many games there are. Load more 35 more games on here. It is absolutely mental. And, you know, there is something to be said that if that's the business model they want to go down, fair enough. I actually got an email from someone at Playway games who was obviously a buyer source since they were an investor in the company telling me it was an unfair thing to say quantity not quality and um, fair enough it's think what you want but some of your games are decent most of them are pretty subpar so we get it these guys don't really like me anyway but what am i actually getting at here well i've been asked over and over again to talk about roman empire wars and there's a reason that i've been put off it because to me it looks a bit weird it all looks very pre-rendered and, of course, cinematic trailers will always be that. But it's the gameplay portion that they try and pull off of this gameplay that, to me at least, in my opinion, looks a bit sus. Okay, you see basic camera moves and, of course, you've got all the filters that they put on that make it look a little bit dark and dingy, but kind of cinematic. But then if you go to one of their other games that they're publishing, Viking City Builder, it looks very, very similar. All this weird, almost pre-rendered gameplay-esque stuff that if you're actually playing the game, it wouldn't look anything like it, most likely. All the animations look very similar and it's all shot in the same kind of way. And once again, I actually made a video on this in the past because of its similarities to Manor Lords, a trailer that used almost identical shots. And yeah, I called them out on that and I made a video in the past. And this is why I've held off making a video about this game, or at least a video actually trying to talk about what it is, because there is no real information about it, or at least that doesn't go into much detail. It's all talking in vague terms. 
talking about a general strategy game rather than actually giving us specific ideas about what the gameplay is, what you can actually do within Roman Empire Wars. It doesn't, at least to me, feel like it's a real game. There's been a lot of rumors in the past of Playway putting out these pre-rendered trailers and saying, look, this is a game that's coming. But allegedly, there's been a lot of talk about Playway releasing these cinematic trailers to get people to wishlist it before they really put the funds in to actually make the games. Viking City Builder, I have looked over and over again. I've been following their Twitter. Every dev blog they've bought out says and kind of brings it out as if they're bringing out gameplay, but there isn't. I mean, look at this one. Raw Materials. Dev Blog 8, Viking City Builder. It's all just cinematic shots that can be done in engine. It's no proof that there's actual any real gameplay from this. And the same story is on their Twitter. They post quite a lot, granted, but it's all just screenshots and what videos there are just look to be in engine kind of things. And I've even responded time and time again in the comments of these tweets. Where's the gameplay? And every single time they say it's coming soon. I've been doing this for about a year, by the way, and still not one piece of actual gameplay has come out, but all their tweets are leaving a link to wishlist the game, hashtag wishlist Wednesday. Yet where's the actual gameplay and proof that this game is on its way right now? And it just worries me that a similar thing is happening with Roman Empire Wars. It's almost like a stage play showing off these screenshots, but no proof that this development is coming on the way that at least say. And it could well be. I know that the business model for Playway is almost a big titan of a publishing company that I've heard from developers within them themselves that they actually give them a lot of creative freedom to do pretty much whatever they want. However, I feel like the communication is still dishonest. Trying to get people to wishlist games without giving anything back except from pre-rendered screenshots and weird looking gameplay in quoted commas. I mean, what do they actually say are the main features? Take part in large scale epic battles that mimic the real life war campaign of the greatest emperor's history of Rome. Incredibly vague. Engage in foreign armies in real-time strategy fashion, using your dexterity to quickly crush your enemies. Once again, incredibly vague. Become a great leader who builds empires <laughs> closer. Make your cunning... Th these... This doesn't say anything. This. These aren't features. There's not a single feature here. Actually, there is. Real-time strategy. So it is a real-time strategy game. But that's it. All the other bits are just words saying the same thing over and over again and pretending that it's a feature. There's nothing that we can actually get from this. So why are we always being asked to wishlist these games, especially when they've changed the publisher from Playway to Emperor Games, when clearly, at least at one point in time, it was published by Playway. But I have a sneaky suspicion some of it might be down to the bad name that Playway have given themselves. Speaking of a bad name, I said that I got an email from Playway themselves getting kind of angry at my previous video. This was when I called them out for pretty much copying Manalord's video shot for shot. And after a lot of them just saying, no, we didn't, and me showing the shot for shot things, they said, I contacted the company that worked with Viking Developer and asked to change the trailer and show game in different view in 60 days. Okay, so they're going to change the trailer. They actually did do that. They released Viking City Builder new trailer almost 60 days after this. And once again, it shows a similar thing, but it was different. Mostly just terrain things and some sort of siege-esque gameplay type. But they still left the first trailer up. Viking City Builder trailer is still there. The one that was a shot for shot ripoff of Manor Lords and the one that they said that they would change. So there isn't much honesty here, even when they do get caught out in some of the dishonest stuff they've done. And look, Playway, you're probably watching this video. I mean, you probably email me again saying how you're not happy with this one. If you're not happy with it, change the way you're doing things. You told me privately that you would after I called you out last time. And Roman Empire Wars just looks like the same thing. Now, it could be completely legit. That's why I'm not saying for definite that it's not. But you've not shown any reason for anyone to believe that it isn't. And it's not just me, because if you type in Roman Empire Wars, the first videos are Roman Empire Wars too good to be true. Roman Empire Wars a scam, fake, Rome 2 clone. And it's all the same. This Steam page has been up for years. Still, no release date has been confirmed. Nothing has been changed or updated. This trailer has been the same since the Steam page was made years ago. So what is going on? I mean, look, the graphics say a GTX 970 and R9 Fury X. These are cards that are about five or six years old. It's, what are you doing? I mean, 
Who owns a GTX 650 Ti these days? I mean, if you do, good job on you. You have managed to make that PC last. But should that still be the system requirements? Surely this just shows that this Steam page has either been abandoned or they just haven't bothered to update it because the development is going so slow. Or in the worst case scenario, the development hasn't even really started properly yet. Playway, let us know. I want to know what's going on with this. Don't give this bullshit that it's Emperor Games. Emperor Games has just been set up for this title to remove your name from it. Otherwise, they would have some history. There would be anything else about them. I mean, look, October 2020, Emperor Games and publisher Playway have officially announced a brand new game. So it is published by Playway. But why have they taken their name off the Steam page? It makes you wonder. But hey, Playway... Thanks for watching the video. Send me an email if you want to have a go at me again. I, I don't care. Everyone else, stop asking me to talk about Roman Emperor Wars because I probably won't mention it again until some actual gameplay comes out. Same with Viking City Builder. Playway, prove me wrong. Jesus Christ. The cavalry charging in, getting some good kills there, but ultimately being taken out by the stronger, more imperial force, tighter packed fighting, and of course using them Pelum to throw off the cavalry and making sure that they fall to their death on the sandy desert. Over the hill though comes the hoplites doing their thing, slicing and dicing. They are the stronger.